Hello guys, it is How to Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to create an unbreakable password protected file on your computer. So, there's a lot of ways to do this, and the main way is to encrypt a single file or a full drive. There's lots of software you can get to do this, but my personal favourite is VeraCrypt, and you will find this link in the description, and you just click on it, it will bring you to this website, and you want to press download through your browser. Okay, so it will start to download through the website, but then as soon as it's done on the website, it will download straight away into your browser. Now it might say this might harm your computer but it doesn't because it's from the developer so you just want to press keep and then click on it when it's done downloading. Now you want to press yes and you want to say I accept the license terms and next. You want to say install next. You can change this but you don't have to. Probably recommend to just leave it where it is and press install. When it's done it will say Veracrypt has successfully installed and you want to press ok and then finish. So you should have a desktop item which says Veracrypt so you'll have a little icon and you want to double click on it. When you open it you should see something along the lines of this. You'll see a bunch of letter with a drive thing beside them. It'll say volume, select volume, mount, all this here stuff. The only thing you want to do to create a volume is press create volume. I'm going to show you how to create an encrypted file container which is basically a file on your computer but you can't open it unless you're using a decryptor like this. You can also do a non-system partition slash drive so like a flash drive or an external drive or you can encrypt the whole part partition or entire system drive. I'm just going to show you how to do the first one so it should already be selected and then just press next. Now you can hide the volume like as it says it says it may happen that you are forced by somebody to reveal the password to an encrypted volume but this is very unlikely like if you're just trying to keep stuff away from someone that could be using your computer standard VeraCrypt volume will be fine. So here you now you select where you want to put the file. I will just put it on my desktop and you want to call the file whatever I'm just going to say password word protected and then press save then next now you want to choose AES because that is the basically highest level of encryption that you can get for consumers and it's basically you can't break it like no one has broken this encryption level yet so it's the most secure one on the planet and you want to leave hash algorithm as SHA-512 then press next now here you select how big you want the file to be or how small you want it to be it can be kilobytes megabytes gigabytes or terabytes I'm going to choose gigabytes I'm going to say 10 gigabytes then next. Now here's where you choose your password and it's going to say password. It will tell me that it's probably not safe because it's just password. You don't have to use any of these but it's more secure if you do but the password's pretty secure by itself so it's mine says password. I'm going to say next. It will say using short passwords are easy to crack with brute force techniques. We recommend choosing a password con consisting of 20 or more characters so a short password should be fine and you want to press yes on this. It says do you intend to store files larger than 4 gigabyte in the Firecraft volume you can click yes or no it doesn't really make that much of a difference so I'm just going to stay as no and press next. Now here you want to move your mouse about a lot. This generates a random like key for the encryption method I guess. It says right here important. Move your mouse as roundly as possible within this window. The longer you move it the better. This significantly increases the cryptographic strength of the encryption keys. Then click format to create the volume. So you can move it as much as you want. You don't have to move it but it's better if you do. So after you've moved it as much as you want you just press format and here you'll see the speed that the file is getting written to, how long it'll be left, how much, how many percent it's done and I will cut to you whenever this 10 gigabyte file is finished writing. Okay so when it's finished it'll say the VeraCrypt volume has been successfully created, you just want to press OK. Then next and well you don't actually need to press next so you can press cancel on that. So here's your password protected file, it is a file basically and if you double click it it'll ask you to open it with something but you can't really open it with anything because there's nothing there. Even if there is something in it, there's nothing there. The size stays 10 gigabytes and that is it. So how you open this is you select a uh you click on one of these like letter drives so say I press on G then you do select file then you go to your desktop or wherever you save the file press on the password protected file and then click open now you want to press mount and here you will type in your password so as you remember my password was just password as you can see then you press ok now depending on the size of the file it can take a short amount of time or a long amount of time to open the file so you will just
just have to wait this out and when it's done it will look like this it'll say it's mounted to drives g now you want to go to your file explorer go to this pc and you'll see a local disk g right here and this is your file container you can put whatever you want in here you can put something sensitive you can put something that you just don't want people to see so you can put a folder and just say secret stuff and then when you close it you want to press dismount all that will dismount the file and then you can press exit or you can just leave this open and even if after that there's done i can still not open the file say even if i try wordpad it says there's nothing there it'll fail to open and if, as you can see if i go back to the file and i tried to remount it again it will go through the process again and as you can see my file has stayed intact there's only one downside to this if you have something in a folder and you accidentally forget the password or something along the lines you're basically screwed you're not going to get the password you're not going to be able to unlock the file so yeah i would recommend keeping the password somewhere or just try not to forget it and in case you accidentally delete this file probably keep it backed up on like a google drive or something along them lines see so yeah, you guys that is it for today's video if you liked it hit the like button if you didn't hit the dislike button if you want to see other videos and you can recommend videos in the comments if you really want to if you want to see me show you how to do something that would be great and yeah i'll see you guys next one goodbye